Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lesson. Today we're doing reflections. So instead of moving things around, we are going to be flipping things over a line. That line's going to be given to us. I'm going to show you obviously a strategy, how to tackle these. Uh, but let's get to a problem so I can show you what a reflection is. Flipping something over, essentially. We have our first one here. It should be the same or you know similar to what you have. Uh, we are reflecting it across the line x equals 1. So x is left and right. x is positive 1 in this question. So we are flipping it over this line. You may be going, whoa, what am I what are you talking about here? So essentially when we flip something over this line, um, we don't have to do anything up and down. This is all left to right. So we are going to just take how many uh, units anything is to the left of the line. It's going to become that many to the right of the line and vice versa. Let me show you. This point here, W, is one point to the left of this imaginary dotted line, x equals 1. So we are going to make the new point one point to the right of it, right? It's 1 to the left. So I'm now going to make it one to the right. I'm going to do the same thing with this point. And nothing matters or changes up and down. This is one to the left, so I'm going to go ahead and make it one to the right of that line. This point over here, this point x, is one, two, three, four points, or four values to the right of the line. So it's going to stay at y equals five, up and down, but it's going to be four to the left. So one, two, three, four, four to the left, that is right over here for that point. And this one is going to be one, two, three, it's three to the right, so it's gonna be four, three to the left. One, two, three, that is right there. So we're gonna go ahead and connect these and we should see the same shape, just like flipped over. All right. And as you can see, if my drawing was better, it would be flipped over this line right here. Not flipped over this dark line, but flipped over this dotted line. If I was a better artist, it would be nicer. But we work with what we have. So essentially, when we're doing uh, flipping it over the x, uh, an x equals 1, we are just going, how many to the right is it? Well, it's going to now be that many to the left. Let's do the next problem. This one, yeah, as a triangle, there's only three points. The reflection is across negative one, x equals negative one. So I'm going to put my dotted line here. Oops. This point is one value to the right of it, so it's now going to become one value to the left. This value over here is one, two, three away from that line on the left, so it's going to become one, two, three away from the line on the right. This one is four away from the line on the left, so it's going to become four away from the line on the right. One, two, three, four over here. We're gonna go ahead and connect these and we sh should see a triangle. Yeah. My original drawing is not good. This drawing is better, okay? So we flipped that triangle over this line. Let's do another one. This one is asking us to reflect across y equals one. So that is this point right here, y equals one. So instead of going left to right, we're gonna go up and down. Um, this value is zero away from the line, so it's going to stay right there. I'm going to put a circle around it to represent that that is also a uh, red dot. This value is one, to the, uh, one below the line, so it's going to become one above the line. This one is one, two below the line, so it's going to become one, two above the line in the same vertical spot. Remember, we're not doing anything left to right. And this one is one, two, three, four underneath the line. So it's gonna be four above the line. That's one, two, three, four, that's up here. So we can go ahead and we can connect our dots. We should have the same shape flipped over 
uh, y equals one line. Let's do one more. Obviously, we got to do one more. Make sure that we've got it. We are flipping this one over the x-axis. The x-axis is this line right here. It is this big one. X equals zero is the x-axis. You may see it labeled sometimes on the side like that, x-axis. So that is our imaginary line. This first point is one below it, so it's going to become one above it. These two are both two below, so they're gonna both become two above. And this one is, what is it, five below? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So this one's gonna be five above right up here. We're gonna go ahead, ooh, can't see that, that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and connect these dots. We should get the same shape just flipped over this line, and yes, we have. So if you have any questions about that, please let me know, but whatever line you're, flip, you're flipping it over, you're just counting how many away that point is and doing the opposite in your answer. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you in class.